Hey YouTube, Eric here. So today I'm going to get into replacing uh, the damaged parts of the wiring harness. The water came up to about this level and so thankfully the fuse panel is below this and it's fine. However, when the marina flipped on the power or somebody flipped on the power to see if the engine would run, they did electrolysis damage on the positive sides of the circuit from here on up. So that fried out all my gauges uh, or, it, or it started to fry out. It, it did electrolysis damage. And so I'm replacing all of the gauges, all of the switches, and anything that carried power. And in this case, uh, red and and red with uh, black stripes are carrying power, so those wires are getting replaced. And some of them are requiring to be back pinned on Deutsch connectors and whatnot. Uh, blue wires are carrying power for dash lights and whatnot. That's those wires are fried on out. And gray wires are for the navigation lights. Those wires are also fried on out. And so rather than replace the entire wiring harness, I'm just going to go in and replace the wires that need to be replaced. And so uh, I'm going to get into kind of a technical bit of, of doing some wire repair. Now in order to do all this technical uh, wire repair, I've had to, I wanted to keep the uh, uh, wire colors the way they are in, in the boat. And so I ordered in uh, 10 different spools of 16 gauge wire and six different color spools of 14 gauge wire. And as far as making a tracer, well, you can use a black magic marker or a Sharpie and, and put the tracer on, on the wire. And so that's my intention to do, uh, do that. I've already replaced all of the switches uh, on the switch panel. So these are all brand new switches. I've, I'm using the same uh, switch faces but the switches on the back, they're all they're all been replaced. Okay, so this is an eight pin Deutsch connector. I don't know if you can see it or not, but in, I'm gonna move this around, hopefully you can catch it in the light. There's little tabs in here that in order to release these pins, you have to back probe them. And I have, I have the right tools for this, but you can use a small flat bladed screwdriver too. Very small flat bladed screwdriver, like <laughs> this size, okay? Um, this red wire has to get tied in with other red wires, and so I'm doing one circuit at a time so I don't get screwed up and get things messed up. And so I'm going to work on putting this red, uh, the rest of the this circuit together. Okay, so the wire that we've got to connect to is this corroded thing, and believe it or not, all this corrosion happened just from firing up the engine and testing it, changing oil and testing it. Electrolysis can happen uh, pretty fast. And in this case, this pin went into uh, a block that went on a, a, and a switch. And so I've got to tie this Deutsch connector wire that we just got, another hot wire that's still good, and the replacement wire for this all together onto what I'm going to do is introduce a new connector. This was at one point a solder point uh, from the factory, but I'm going to introduce a connector just to make it, you know, can you see that? There's the connector just to make it easier. So I'm, I'm going to put all this into a big flat blade uh, connector. All right, all right, so now we've got our, our Uber mush connection, which then that will slide on to here and I'm gonna to have to uh, put some shrink tubing on this to get it all to sink down but that's my plan okay so I made my connection but this isn't uh, weatherproof whatsoever and I want to attempt to make this somewhat weatherproof and towards that end I'm going to uh, Paint it up with marine sealant. And this is a marine connector. It's got some silicone in there. I'm going to paint this end up too. Get a little blob in there. Paint all the all right, now the trick is to put this down without getting it all over everything. <laughs> all right, 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sl slide the shrink tubing over all this. It could be this. me happy and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back and go through each and every one of the circuits uh, that's bad and replace them like I've shown you however I work faster without trying to video it so I'm going to catch you at the end of that project again okay so now I've gone ahead and replaced uh, the three powers that are going into this 8-pin Deutsch connector uh, with new wires and new uh, female connectors and so now it's just a matter of putting this thing back together and you just start mushing this is a weather seal just gonna you know, work it and off camera I will get this in there so it's really snug but the, just kind of show you a little bit about what this thing's supposed to look like Actually, this one's going it's going in a lot easier it came out <laughs> with my fingernail here so oh yeah that one child's play okay and then that other weather seal goes in so like so Then to hold, this is going to, if you see it, it's a wedge, and what this is going to do is wedge all these pins up so that they are held precisely. But I can see that you see some of the corrosion here. I'm going to try to wipe some of this off so it doesn't let the next guy think that there's a little bit of corrosion here. I've already sorted this out. Any corrosion we get, I want to have it be new corrosion, you know what I mean? So. so there we go. So now this is ready uh, for the male side. I have to repair the male side as well, but that's going to happen off boat. So the tool that you use has got a, a little... It's, it's a Deutsch tool, it's got a hook in here, and its whole purpose is just to be able to grab that green splitter, and it does the same thing as it causes a wedge to keep the pins stuck in there. And then uh, I guess we'll, we'll start out replacing the gray wire here. and secure and which one were you you were this one I got I can't see what I'm doing now because I'm trying to show you on the camera <laughs> It's super windy out.
The loons are back. Hear them? That's fun. Now, I'm going to go get in a pencil eraser and try to take out this corrosion again. I uh, This corrosion I'm fixing, so any new corrosion, we don't want to get it confused with this repair. You know what I mean? So as you can see in here, the pencil eraser works pretty good. I mean, there's still some green down there, but it's, it's better. It's better. Okay, so I finished making the final pin, and uh, that supplied a 3-amp fuse, which in turn supplies the, the fish finder's power-in cord. And so now it's just a matter of sliding in the pin. I can't see what I'm doing here, but I shouldn't have to. So it, should, it popped in there. Now I just gotta find where's the where's the little green thingy? Here it is, wedge, and this is what holds the pins in place. And again, there's I don't think there's a, a left or a right to this. Uh, it looks pretty much uniform. So this thing goes in. That's what holds the pins. And uh, I tried to erase out the remnants of the corrosion. You already saw that. And now it's just a matter of kind of zip tying everything down so this is a nice, neat harness. And that I'll do off camera. I know.